already, y'all. This was uh, this was home last night. You know, making my way down to uh, Smith Mountain Lake. I always get pre really excited, really excited before a tournament to where I can't even sleep. And you know, the traffic really sucks too. Uh, during the mornings around where I live. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, get up on the road, uh, get going. I do that majority of the time and I'll find a place and sleep on the way to where I'm going. And last night I pulled into here to, to this gas station that's along my route. And sure enough, you know, found me a nice little sliver of a spot that was ready. And if it sounds like it's really loud here right now, uh, you know, last night it wasn't at all. It's pretty peaceful and everything. You know, I climb up in the, into my camper and go to sleep. But you know, I like that everything I can, you know, if anybody gets, tries to even get on my boat, I can feel it throughout the truck and everything. So I'm not worried about anything. You know, woke up in the morning, uh, had a good night's sleep, laying down, wasn't hot was actually pretty pretty cool you know it got down into the mid lower set mid to lower 70s and uh you know again well rested this is part of it which is really cool about owning a truck camper so if you're considering this uh doing this kind of for your just fishing adventures this is what this is this is always a fishing adventure for me uh just going to these tournaments and stuff you know, um, then then definitely look into the truck camper the palomino man it's a it's a good one to start off with it's not super expensive woke up went in to the rest you know had had my chef prepare me some meals and of course they don't have a chef but you know you, you get what i'm getting at go in grab some coffee grab some food and you know now we're going to get on the road you know I, I like this a whole lot better than trying to pull over at a rest stop All right, y'all just made it to my campground for the weekend. I am staying at Smith Mountain Campground. It's uh, not on the lake, but let me tell you, I'm glad I picked this one. Um, got plenty of uh, plenty of room right back here. You can see that I got both my camper, my boat, and my truck still hooked up in the same spot. You know, that's uh, sometimes that's a rarity. Uh, when I was camping at Gifford Pinchot Park the other day, I had to buy two spots simply because I didn't want to have to park a vehicle way up the hill or something like that some of these campsites they make you do that and it's kind of you know it's just silly that they uh, make you go through all that hassle you know you can't kind of bring the other things that you have with your travel along but again you know backpack edition truck camper allows you to get in there uh, get things put off and uh, you know still have a lot of room in your campsite left over um, but you can see that you know even some of these larger ones can can be accommodated big f 450 right there and then a big old uh gooseneck trailer fifth wheel so uh gonna do a few more things it's about midday right now 12 o'clock uh really my plan for this evening is to just get out on the water and run the lake and just look like of course i'm gonna touch a rod and reel that's almost that's that's impossible if you can do that and never touch a rod and reel wow hats off to you i certainly can't do that but you know i'm gonna definitely try to see as much water as possible today just get a lay of the land just run up and down running coves and stuff like that um not spend like an hour sitting there fishing something so let's uh let's get out there and have a good time Woo. all right so it's pretty daggum hot out there today uh for the next couple days it's going to be uh increasingly hotter i think we're going to get it at a 90 and get it at a, a sustained 90 so i think that's going to be good for the fishing in a lot of sense i think that might congregate these fish where you would think they would congregate suspended under docks um out on humps out on channel ledges things like that a lot of this i mean this lake has so much deep water i mean anything's pretty much game because they can move up and down really easily and um you know that's kind of what I'm going to be looking at when I go out there this evening. Just want to give you a quick rundown of uh, this uh, weekend's meals. You know, things that I've got. Got some uh, breakfast sandwiches here. It's nice because I have a Magic Chef uh, microwave up here to go along with that. Um, going to make me a sandwich using this pretzel, pretzel bread right there. Tried to pick up some fruit and stuff, so I'm eating a little bit healthier. You know, you can't be slamming these all the time. And then some, uh, ooh, Kentucky Legend, guys. Woo, my mom turned me on to this stuff and it is good. You can get it at Walmart, it's pretty cheap, but daggum tasty, let me tell you. 
I uh, got some, some drinks, but you know, this is part of uh, traveling in one of these. You get to make your own meals. You get to have your stuff readily available. Got some, some coffee on the go. I do this because it saves me time in the morning. I just pour it in a cup and get on the road, you know, so to, don't have to sit there and wait for it to brew up. It's not all hot and everything. So that's why I do cold coffee like that. If i am got my like Orion cooler or something like that, I bring that along, always stuff that in there as well. Uh, rest of uh, rest of the camper's a little bit of a mess. Got me some desserts and little Debbies. Keep getting fatter. Eh. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying this video thus far. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and smash that subscribe down. Give this video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate your support watching my channel. It helps me do things like this. So, you know, that's, uh, let's get out there on the water. Actually, let's eat this sandwich and watch some YouTube. Then get out on the water. Woo! All right, launching here at uh, Penbrook number nine. Great little boat ramp. Man, this water is clear. Probably got about 10 foot of visibility at least. So it's gonna make it pretty interesting. Cool to fish a place like this. You know, it's all about getting out there, experiencing new waters and everything. Really excited about that. So I'm gonna go out here, run around, have some fun, see the water, see what we can, see what we can do. I don't know why I heard a gunshot over there already. <clears throat> -hoo -hoo. All right, guys, what I'm out here doing today right now is just kind of flipping docks. Uh, started on this one dock. I'm going to let this guy go. He's a good one. Uh, but actually, let me take a picture with him real fast. But, uh, you know, what I looked for that was different than, than some of these other codes and everything was I wanted one with a creek channel. That was really it something as, as simple as that. I was just like, all right, let me go into that one since it's got a creek channel uh, clearly depicted on the map. And that's what I tried for. First two docks I've hit, caught some really small dinks over there, but that kind of solidified. Threw a little bit bigger of a bait in here on this dock and uh, got a good fish. So, you know, looks like maybe the Cinco might be generating some of the smaller bites, uh, but also the, you know, I just threw a, uh, a Berkeley, uh, pit boss in there so maybe that maybe a jig will, will work something with a little bit slower of a fall got some uh, rubber jigs that my buddy cj made up uh, for me i'm gonna throw one of those on too see if that doesn't do uh well but that's promising guys uh, especially because we're gonna have exactly what you're seeing right here extremely hot days the sun's extremely high and i've had no problem catching fish at three o'clock in the afternoon um, once i stopped off at a few docks so I think that's the first pattern right there just automatically so i'm gonna run a few more uh creek ch uh, creek channel coves like this that have uh, really defined creek channels in them it is a toasty one out there i have found me a little bit of shade um gonna rig up some stuff got a brand new custom speed stick light out of the entire lose lineup because i basically have everything from the 40 dollars rod Hank Parker series you can buy at Walmart, which is great. I still use it all the time. All the way up to the Pro TI, which is an incredibly light combined package. Like when you pair things together, like the Mach 1 or the um, Mach Crush, they're all really light combos. Um, but you know what? My frog rod that I've had has been the utmost it's been the one rod that's impressed me the most mainly because when i've paired it with this super duty it's still a very light combo even though this is a 72 it's a 72 rod um, this is the magnum grass and i wanted something that was kind of short that i could throw around docks but still had good backbone to it and um, for that i went with the magnum bass because you know, I don't mind having a stiffer rod uh, because I can skip with a stiffer rod. Uh, you know, I, I can just do that. And this, uh, this is a definitely stiffer rod with this uh, Magnum bass. You can see here how it, it's got more of the bend towards the top as I'm bending that. Uh, you know, it's not bending all the way down the blank. So that means with the jig, I'm gonna have no problem setting the hook. Um, I don't throw kind of light wired jigs, so. That's why, you know, I want some backbone in there to, to horse those fish and, and move them around, you know, because just the other day when I was on the upper bay, 
you know, I, I threw in there and, you know, I had to work this fish really hard around the dock piling. And I was doing that with the uh, TP1 series, uh, the, the TP1 multi-purpose reel actually. And, uh, you know, still got that fish out, great fish, but you know, this is one that I picked up uh, just uh, just to be able to have that in the uh, the arsenal. This is gonna be able to do basically anything I want it to. Uh, the other rod that I bought was a, another uh, Magnum crankbait rod. This is the crankbait three rod. So this is a seven foot 10. It says that it's for deep diving crankbaits, but you know what? I have got the David Fritz perfect crankbait rod and my god like i could probably hit this house all the way back there paired with this mb i could probably hit that house or, or i'd give that house a good scare let me tell you because holy crap i, I recently upgraded my uh, knobs on these mbs as well not the best place to film that and uh, it's really, really bumpy yeah, that, that's something that again because i i really like the the lose wind grips uh i really actually love them uh i know some people don't hey that that's cool but you know what if you want to get these you can go to the lose uh speed shop on the lose website check them out and uh you know really super super simple to 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 take these and replace these off guys you just like some of them it's just a little cap there you pop that cap out with the little flat head then take a little phillips unscrew it slide them back on there's a couple uh bearings in there other than that super easy i mean incredibly easy maybe i'll do a quick video on that just to just to show you how fast and simple you can change one of those out but uh you know those are two two rods i've got a really cool video i'm going to do with the magnum crankbait 2 and crankbait 3 so stick around for those uh be on be on the lookout for them i'm not going to put out what it's going to be but it'll be a pretty interesting one so let's rig some stuff up 